you are exiles. We are the exiles. We are the fallen. You made the decision to go after Strange Flesh. This is about one thing. This is about us being consumed by another race. Let's get them in a host body system so we can destroy them. You're a kingdom divided. You're good and evil. You are the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. To rectify that situation, you got to be turned up. It's how you know that you know Jesus. And if it does add up to the scriptures and it's not true. There you go. If it doesn't add up to the scriptures and it's not true, don't believe it. All right, guys. God bless you. Welcome. And this is it. That's our little cheer. Let's go. Keep going till the end, guys. Um, so just a, a check in. We're working on video stuff. I told you the Lord put it on me to show a direct highway from the night you got saved and the information to where you are now. So if you look over Jonathan Kleck's shoulder towards the past, towards the night he got saved, what was the number one message communicated in the hotel room? Uh, read the tag in your shirt that said 100% nylon, which doesn't make any sense at all. Then the Lord told me, turn it upside down, the word nylon. It was no lion. So Jesus said, I am the truth. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Whoever comes to the Father has to come to the Father through Christ. Now, I'm wearing this shirt right here. Spirit, superhuman, angel, demon, spirit, or Christ, Holy Spirit. So it's the most obvious thing in the world. You're a kingdom divided. You're right side up and upside down. You got an angel from heaven and a demon from the pit. That's the spirit that's running you. Superhuman angel demon shows it right there in first, uh, Ephesians 2. But Christ, his purpose was to make one new man from the superhuman angel demon, thus making peace so you get converted, eyes become single, and you have the Holy Spirit. Now, a unified, holy, singular spirit instead of two, which is a kingdom divided. Okay, now, the last video that we did, I want you to go back and watch it three or four times, please. Because something happened in that video that it was just supernatural, just because of the way it rolled out. And I want to explain something to you. There's, there are clips that we use, like from the movie National Treasure, where Nicolas Cage is standing in front of a door. He's trying to get to the ultimate treasure, and he's got a a pipe in his pocket named Charlotte. The pipe actually has a name. The name Charlotte means a free man, but it's a woman. See, we're in a female system, but I'm a free man. I, If the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. And I always do this. What did Nicolas Cage do with the pipe named Charlotte? He put it in the slot and then he turned it upside down. Same thing I'm doing. And then Nicolas Cage says, could it really be that simple? 100% nylon to 100% no line. Could the greatest treasure in the world really be that simple that you just turn it the other way? The answer is, that is exactly the answer. Now, if you'll go watch this video that Zach and I produced, I did the audio, Zach did the video, he did the, the visuals, but what happened was supernatural and perfect. because. In the beginning, you'll see the golden traveler from the Olympics, and he's sitting there jumping around on stage representing Elohim, moving over the waters of the abyss. But that was a that was a physical manifestation on worldwide TV of the spirit of Elohim moving over the waters of the abyss. But if you can see it, you're seeing the word manifest. I don't know if you understand how profound that is. If you're watching Nicolas Cage put the pipe name Charlotte, which is a female name again, but Charlotte means a free man, and he turns it upside down. And not only does he get the biggest treasure there is, but there is an exit to get out of the dungeon to go up on the, on the other side of the treasure. There's a way out. That's who I am and what I do for the world. I'm going to try and give you the greatest treasure there is, the knowledge of the Most High, and you will know the truth. You will know the Jesus, and the truth, the Jesus, will set you free. It's directional. It's up. Jesus is from above. 
you are from below. Do you get it? I am from above, you are from beneath. That's what he says. So we have a superhuman angel up, demon down spirit. We're a kingdom divided, yes or no? Okay, so that's that's right side up and upside down in the same package. Let me show you something. I want to show you guys the simplicity of all of this when you just when you see it for how simple it is. Let me just show you. Now, y'all know how many times has Jonathan Kleck shown you the same image of the Virgin? But watch. You see, no one knew that that was a dead sheep. Everybody knew that this was an image of the Virgin. There's the Virgin because you see it. The part you didn't see was this part right here. And the only way to find, let's say, the Adam part of the equation, this is the Adam part. Think of this as the Eve part. Okay, well, the Adam part is put to sleep. And I'm circling the male. The male part of you, the male energy in you, has been inverted in the system. So Adam is asleep inside of you. Well, when you wake up in Christ, arise, O sleeper. You're the one that's asleep because Adam was stupefied with sleep or with death. You're Adam. I'm Adam. We're all Adam. Adam's in us. You're stupefied with sleep or with death. But when I turned the virgin the other way, I discovered, oh, myself. Oh, and I discovered both halves of the equation, and I'm actualized. And a kingdom that was divided, one up, one down, is now restored. You get it? It's the most simple thing in the world. Religion is a, a monster. Uh, a relationship with Christ is everything. The truth is everything. Ready? How did I find the truth? I inverted the virgin. I inverted the world. So you see right here, male, that was not known to you. Here's all that was known to you. You would look at it, this image and go, well, it's an image of the virgin. So you're seeing, huh, this is the system. But when you invert the virgin, you're discovering, oh, the Adam in you. Arise, O sleeper, wake up from the dead. How did you arise, O sleeper? You turned it the other direction. 100% nylon became 100% no line, which is 100% truth. You understand? It's the most simple thing in the world, and it's just the most obvious thing in the world. But let me show you now. Let me just show you another example because I've used this, but I want to show you the simplicity. I'm going to show you this. It's a tattoo. It's very easy to see that's a sheep, but it's also easy to see it's a wolf upside down. Do y'all remember a clothing line called Odd Future Wolf Gang Kill Them All? O O F W G K T A. They they he goes by the letters O F W G K T A. Odd Future Wolf Gang Kill Them All. You can buy it at Zoomies. What does that mean? Odd future wolf gang. Well, that's the new race that's taking over right now. Because as you turn that image, I just showed you, watch. As you turn this image upside down, they're going to wash out all the sheep in the system. And the only thing that's going to be left to kill all the sheep is the odd future wolf gang, kill them all. So when you invert the when you invert that image, watch this. And then it becomes this image. So odd future wolf gang. So in the future, they know the whole system's going to be inverted and the wolf is going to kill all the sheep. You get it? So now, let me show you just how obvious everything's become. Just it's stupid obvious now. I want you guys to read this. COVID-240 response team. See it? COVID-240 response team. Operation Cerebus. C-E-R-B-E-R-U-S. Fortifies the 891st msfs capabilities well what's that johnny oh i'm glad you asked well first of all do y'all know what cerebus is does anybody know what cerebus is that's cerebus right there cerebus is a three-headed three-headed hound guarding the gates of hell there's cerebus just sit there it is see cerebus 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 the three-headed hound that guards the gates of hell uh-huh why is there an Operation Cerebus? And what's with the radiographic findings in 240 patients, 240, 240? Well, because there's always an agenda, guys. Let me show you the agenda. What did I tell you the agenda was? What have I told you? They don't want... See, the system that started the host body, Elohim, they want the whole... whole they want it to themselves. 
They don't want any of God's energy from heaven in their system. They want their system. If you want to marry a rat, you can marry a rat, whatever you want to do. Whatever goes, that's what they want. They don't want anyone telling them what they can and cannot do. They don't want any rules. Operation Cerebus, the Minot Air Force Base, dot, 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 dot. Operation Cerebus at Camp Really, Well, let's see, what are they doing here? He's holding up this, and as I looked at it, and I looked at it on the site, look at where they're all looking up. I'm going to tell you right now, I find this kind of interesting. I went to go click on the link for Operation Cerebus. Just happens not to be where it was anymore. What's interesting is they're all looking up, guys holding an axe. Why would you be holding an axe looking at the sky? Why? Why? Well, the gates of hell and hell taking over the dimension we're in called the earth and the host body. They don't want heaven in their dimension. We're cutting you away. You get it? Odd future Wolfgang, kill them all. Kill who all? You mean like little deviants? They come from underground? Unleashing demon brothers. You see what I mean? Everything is about the same stupid thing. I don't care if it's a Maserati commercial. A little girl doesn't drive a Maserati. So the Maserati commercial is not about it selling you a Maserati. It's about an agenda of another race of beings coming out of the dark, walking out of the dark and striking. That's what the Maserati commercial is about. The Scion commercial isn't about selling you a Scion. It's about demon brothers coming up from underground, killing all the sheep. That's what the Scion commercial is about. Let's just be plain here. Enough of the bullshit. It's enough of the total nonsense. I can read it like a book. It's so obvious. It's so stupid obvious that either you've been set free of it or you are it. It's that simple. There's no in between. There's no, there's no, there's no one foot in and one foot out. Either you've been converted or you haven't. And when I say converted, I always do this because it means your eyes have become single. Your whole body's full of light. You are no longer a superhuman angel demon. You have been converted into the Holy Spirit. You've been set apart like a bunch of trees and a helicopter reached down, picked you up and set you way over there in the clearing. And you can look back at all the trees and go, you got to be kidding. I was part of, you were part of that. You were part of the kingdom divided. What happens to every kingdom that's divided? What happens? It's brought to desolation. Do you know what's about to happen to the whole earth right now? That's right. It's going to desolation. If you can't see that the trans agenda is the whole agenda, then you're deaf, dumb, and blind. It's a transgender takeover of the host body system by a spiritual essence from the pit. Female energy. Why do you think a bunch of dudes want to be chicks? The Bible says in the end, a female shall encompass a male. A woman shall encompass a man. Encompass. Why do you think the coin that the Vatican made for, you know, that thing that goes into your arm? Why do you think? Why do you think they made a coin with a woman standing on both sides of a man, giving him a... It's stupid. It's so stupid obvious. It's just stupid obvious. Now it's like, okay, I get it. But the point is, if you don't recognize this and you're just, you think uh, whatever I say is just a bunch of nonsense, well, then you're just not one of us. We are from above. They are from beneath. And I've been converted back to my father in heaven. That's it. That's that simple. And hopefully you have too. I hope you have. But I want you guys to watch the little short video because it's very supernatural what happened. The the clips that are in the video, we didn't even have to play the audio. So what you're looking at, you could discern. You're literally seeing the word made manifest. Because if you're looking at an Olympic um, ceremony and a guide, the golden traveler is on top of the waters of the abyss and he shoves his hand down and it's like they all turn to sperm, then everything this guy Jonathan Kleck's been telling you just manifested right in front of your face. Same thing with uh, the the movie, uh, what is it? The one with Nicholas Cage, sorry, my brain went blank. National Treasure. So in National Treasure, he carries around a pipe, the whole movie named Charlotte. I mean, come on. 
And then he gets, he's down in a dungeon. There's no escape. They're all going to die down below ground. And then he's like, oh, wow, they're faced with the door. And he puts the pipe named Charlotte into the slot. And it's in the shape of a castle, like a kingdom. And he turns the whole kingdom upside down. And poof, the door opens. It's like a big breath. It's like, but the, the reason there's a big breath, it represents you getting a new breath. In the movie, it represents him getting a new breath. Poof, a big breath. Spirit is breath. And then you get the greatest treasure there is, the knowledge of the truth. And then there's an exit at the end. You get it? It's the word made manifest. So when you're watching the movie, whether or not it's National Treasure, whether or not you're watching the Olympics, when you realize you're seeing the word of God manifesting, but the only way that you could see it is to know the word of God. See, that's why these people that go to church for religion, instead of knowing the word, <laughs> then you're just sitting there, someone, oh, you're going to be fine. Here's a Band-Aid for your bullet wound. You're not going to be okay. And they're liars. They're lying to you. You're not going to be okay. You need to be converted or you will go to the pit. And the time's here. The time is rolling out right now. Anyway, I'm going to play that video right now. I think you should watch this uh, little short seven-minute video. If I was you, I would watch it five or six times. We're going to watch it one time right now. Moving. This is the spirit of Elohim moving over the waters. Those are waters of the abyss. And when he puts his hand down, they're all a bunch of little lights. They look like reflections of stars. And then he puts his hand down. They start swimming like sperm. Watch. So it's really quite simple. The whole Bible starts with the spirit of Elohim moving over the waters of the abyss. And then they say, let us create man in our image, in the image of Elohim, created he him, male and female, created he them. So Elohim, moving over the waters of the abyss, created a box that's got male and female genitalia. Then, now, I, I'm just going to comment on this one. After this guy in the Olympics does that, and, box they, all, has got and they all start swimming, we showed you a a Coco uh, commercial from back in the day that I used to show you guys. And she puts her hands down on dry parched ground and, and it's the serpent. And then she gets trapped inside the host body in the commercial. For those of y'all that have been here for a while and you recognize these commercials and then listen to the audio, look at the video, watch the transitions. And when you understand that this video is probably past supernatural, to describe to you what's going on right in front of your eyes is biblical. It's all biblical. You think the Scion commercial with the little deviants isn't biblical? Do you think the Maserati commercial with the little prepubescent little girl, you don't think that's biblical? It's all biblical. That's how you know you've been set free of it because you can see it for what it actually is. It's not a Maserati commercial. It's not a Scion commercial to sell a car. It's an agenda. Okay, here we go. Male and female genitalia. Then Genesis 2, we know that Adam introduced into the system is the Lord from heaven. We know that because 1 Corinthians 15 tells us. And so it is written, the first man Adam was made a living soul. The last Adam was made a quickening spirit. Howbeit, that was not first which is spiritual, but that which is natural, and afterward that which is spiritual. The first man is of the earth, earthy. The second man is the Lord from heaven. I'm going to pause that so you understand. The first man is of the earth, earthy, which is Genesis 1. Let us create man in our image. So in the image of Elohim created he him, male and female created he them. That's the first man of the earth, earthy. The second man, Genesis 2, is the Lord from heaven, the self-existent, eternal Jehovah. And he breathed into Adam the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Okay, so you see, there's two different men. There's one of the earth, there's one from heaven, and there's a commingling of the two. So you have the one of the earth that's attached to the pit. Genesis 1, that the production of that man is attached to the abyss, because the spirit of Elohim moved over the waters of the abyss. 
And then the Lord from heaven is Genesis 2, Adam. And then Genesis 3 is the commingling. And then Genesis 4 shows you there's a cannibalistic Cain and Abel twin system. And the elder, which is represents Genesis 1 race, kills the younger, the Genesis 2 race. That's the cannibalistic system. It's all euphemistic for the greatest knowledge in the world. And the Lord let me solve the whole thing with, read the tags in the closure, Karen? <laughs> okay. That's probably possible. Okay, but I want you to understand, the first man is of the earth. That's Genesis 1. The second man is the Lord from heaven. That's Genesis 2. The second man is the Lord from heaven. That's Adam. So Adam comes into the system, and that's Christ's representative, because it tells us that again in the Bible. Adam is Christ's representative, and then tells you right there in 1 Corinthians 15, 45. Now here I've taken... A circular rainbow that's a complete circle and out of the side, like picture this as Adam, male, out of the side right here, female, see it? So when you discover, when you discover, like Jonathan Cleck discovered his other half, I was actualized. I was a rise of sleeper, wake up from the dead. Oh my God, it's all true. You get it? So yeah, so why do you think the virgin becomes a dead sheep? Who's a dead sheep? Oh, <gasps> we are. Yes, there you go. And he, as a spiritual being, is willing to split himself in half. And then he says, I will make a help, a meat for him. And the meat is a part opposite. So right here in Genesis 2.18, the Lord God said, it is not good that man should be alone. I will make a help, right here, a help, meat for him, a part opposite, a counterpart. Okay, why do you think when I turn the virgin upside down, I found my help, my counterpart, my understanding of the truth. Oh, my God, it's a twin system. Oh, my God, I'm my own worst enemy. Oh, my God. Jesus came into the system and died in the middle of two different guys on a cross that represented my condition. I was my own kingdom divided. Wow. Yes, there it is. There you go. Eve, so Adam, male is right side up. Eve is upside down, representing the entire system. And then that spiritual being interacts with the flesh being on a flesh basis. They commingle. And then there is a flesh being that also has the spiritual being from heaven trapped within the host body system. And as the case was with me, when I discovered the truth by inverting the world, it was actualization, finding my other half, finding my meat. I will make a help for him, a meat of the part opposite, a meat for him. And when I met my part opposite by turning the virgin upside down and seeing it was a dead sheep, that the system itself is designed to consume the energy from heaven. It consumes it. But then there's part of it that is bought back because then heaven enters into the system, which we call the earth, the host body. Heaven, the being, the spiritual being from heaven, El, the almighty God, enters into the system in the form of Jesus. But it says you will call his name Emmanuel, which means with us is El, the almighty God from heaven. So El, the almighty God from heaven comes in through a virgin and he is a pure spiritual being of the Holy Spirit. And then he dies on a cross that was meant for a guy named Son of the Father, Barabbas. Means that represents you. That represents me. I'm sorry, we had a little glitch. I was just trying to let you know. Look, guys, El, the Almighty God, came from heaven into a host body, which is what you got trapped in. So you're your own Cain and Abel. And the Cain in you is killing the Abel in you. Do you understand? There's a spiritual war going on inside of you, and it's the Cain is the energy from the pit. The Abel is the energy from heaven. The energy from the pit is killing you. If you don't reverse the process and get converted, then you will go to the pit because the host body and whatever in it is attached to the eternal abyss. The spirit of Elohim moved over the waters of the abyss. So the host body system is attached to the abyss. So when you come into it, when you get your host body, if you don't turn back to the living God, the living God, and get made whole again, well, then the abyss gets you. That's it. That's going to the going to the pit. This represents you. There's no way that a guy named Bar Abbas happened to be in a Roman prison 
uh, when Jesus was arrested. And Jesus took the cross for Barabbas. This is from the movie The Passion of Christ. And this is where they let Barabbas go in the movie. And then Jesus takes the penalty for son of the father. See, Jesus takes the penalty for son of the father. I'm Barabbas. You're Barabbas. We're all Barabbas. We're all a kingdom divided. That's what the crosses represent. It's huge, guys. This is enormous. In son of the father. And the true son of the father gets on a cross and dies in the place. Imagine of Jesus looking at you going, I'm going to take the cross for you. And this is us. And we are the, the garbage that he was willing to save. Of What represents your twin duality. That's why there's a guy on the right side and a guy on the left side, Jesmus and Desmus. I'm going to pause it right here. Look. See, I wrote the word angel up here. Angel on one side, demon on the other. Cain, Abel. Cain right here, Abel. Cain and Abel. Jesus will reconcile the cannibalistic system, the kingdom divided that is you. This is you. Your own Cain and Abel. That is you on the cross. But Jesus will take your place on that cross and make the two one. That's what the cross is all about. That is the meaning of that cross. He will come in the likeness of sinful flesh, which is what you're in. He will die on that cross for your sins in the flesh so the two can become one and you're no longer separated from your Father in heaven. This is the meaning of the Bible. This is the gospel. When anyone says Jonathan Clegg doesn't preach the gospel, they don't even know what the word gospel means. They don't even know it. And so Christ, his purpose on that cross was to make one new man from the two. Because you're in a twin system, you're good and evil. So he reconciles both halves through the cross to make one new man from the two, thus making peace. That's why he's the Prince of Peace. And he reconciles you back to the Father in heaven, and then you're guaranteed eternal life. It's that simple. That's why Jesus showed you in Matthew 16, upon this rock, I will build my church. And he renames Peter, Simon, son of Jonas. He renames him Petros, which means little piece of rock. And then he says, I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And so Jesus was crucified right side up as the foundation, which is right side up. And Peter was crucified upside down, but he had the keys, which you turn yourself right side up from being upside down. And then you become one of the building stones on the foundation. So this represents, this is the Vatican in the shape of a keel. Well, the whole building is an upside down cross that's a serpent because you became the serpent. Do you get it? You got trapped in the serpent's flesh. The serpent's flesh. So in order to get out of this, you turn it the other way and the door opens. Get it? It's very obvious. And that is the temple. It's that simple. It's that obvious. And it's manifest everywhere in front of you all the time. Because the system itself has to manifest it. The, the, the flesh system manifests what it is. There, people... Okay, there it is. There's the pipe named Charlotte. Charlotte means a free man. Who names a pipe? Let me ask you a question. Does anyone name a pipe? Oh, this is Charlotte. Oh, this is Bobby. I'm going to smoke it today. Whatever. The movie was telling you because the system manifests what it is. That's why you go watch Eminem videos. He's having a fight with himself. There's a good Eminem and a bad Eminem. I mean, it's just so stupid obvious now. And that female energy is taking over everything. And it is pure evil. Pure evil taking over. That's what's happening. That's why they're willing to do the things they're willing to do now. The world's changing. You got to admit it. And it's changing for the worse. And it's happening very quickly now. It's going gonna, it's gonna to intensify. It's going to speed up. And it's going to happen. So here it is. People think upside down. And then you become one of the building stones on the foundation that is the temple. It's that simple. It's that obvious. And it's manifest everywhere in front of you all the time because the system itself has to manifest it the 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 flesh system manifests what it is a lot of people think satan is front loading you that's not correct the system itself manifests what it is you can tell every tree by its fruit that's why the vatican is a snake that's why it's birthing another snake that's called parthenogenesis virgin genesis that's why that race that's attached to the pit 
they worship the virgin because the virgin, uh, that entity, the twin female entity, started the host body system by starting a host body system uh, with female energy and then making male and female genitalia. Just because it's a male in a host body doesn't mean it doesn't have female energy that started mm -hmm. it. And then, uh, do you guys know how you know when you're under attack? Your equipment does stuff like mine just did. All my equipment is being monitored. You know it's being monitored by everybody. I mean, there's no doubt about it, but I don't care. I could care less. I'm going to speak the truth, tell you the truth, show you what's going on. But did you see what just happened to my whole video? Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna pick it up again right here and see if this thing will play normally. Let's see. Ready? Let's go. In front of you all the time because the system itself has to manifest it. The, the the flesh system manifests what it is. A lot of people think Satan is front-loading you. That's not correct. The system itself manifests what it is. You can tell every tree by its fruit. That's why the Vatican is a snake. That's why it's birthing another snake. That's called Parthenogenesis, virgin genesis. That's why that race that's attached to the pit, they worship the virgin because the virgin's I want you to look at the virgin that they're worshiping in the Vatican. Watch. They worship the virgin. You see the one eye closed right there? See, it's closed. That's Nahash, the Ammonite. Nahash, the serpent, the Ammonite, the inbred race. You're looking right at it. The eye closed, one eye open. Nahash, they're inside of a snake, serpent, the Ammonite, inbred race. You're looking right at it. Because the virgin's... Uh... That entity, the twin female entity, started the host body system by starting a host body system uh, with female energy and then making male and female genitalia. Just because it's a male in a host body doesn't mean it doesn't have female energy that started it. And then Cain means to strike fast. And so when Adam and Eve come into the picture and they are put in, they are put into the garden, and then it says to strike fast, and that's because the serpent race, a male of the serpent race, when I say male, it had a penis, it inseminated Eve, and then Adam inseminated Eve, and then Cain and Abel were heteropaternal superfecundation twins. Cannibal. So now you're in a cannibal system that cannibalizes your essence, and that's what the world is all about. Let me ask you a question, an honest question. Why do you think Miley Cyrus has teeth on her vagina? Why do you think a bag from Zoomies has the same exact thing as Miley Cyrus's vagina? Look, these are teeth. It's coming out of a dimension, a uh, doorway in space, and it's eating sperm that have triangles on them. You see, those are sperm. This is a vagina eating sperm. I, I mean, honestly, why? Why? Why would Miley Cyrus take the time to have a red neoprene costume made that had metal teeth on the vagina? Why? Because that's what it does. That's what it's for. That's what it's for from the beginning. Understood? There you go. All about. So if you don't turn back to Jesus, that's why you have to turn back the opposite direction to know who Christ is. Then when you meet your other half, I will make a meat for him, a help. That's why it says, I will make a help, a meat for him. The help is when you find your other half, when you turn the world upside down, then you're set free in your spirit, the two become one in Christ. I will make one new man from the two. Because the female uh, is attached to the pit, male is attached to heaven. And when you um, turn back to your creator in heaven, the two become one. So you have a sin debt that's always racking up against you every day of your life in the pit because you have your own worm, which is a locust, that's feeding off you every single day from the pit. And Satan is the king of the worms, king of the locusts, and he keeps the record against you. But when you get converted, which means turn the other direction, turn quite around, then your sin debt is forgiven and there's no more debt against you. Because Jesus satisfied the debt on the cross through another supernatural spirit that reconciles the superhuman angel demon, which is running you. You have a superhuman angel up, demon, down spirit that's running you. But when you accept Christ, which is up, you kick out the demon, the two ups, your eyes become single, and your whole body's full of light, and you are 
reconciled back to your father in heaven. Okay, so you see the prodigal son returning home? Let me ask you a question. So, reconciled means to restore a relationship that was broken, like if you had a breakup with your wife. So if you're reconciled to your father and you return to your father, how could you not be from heaven? How could you not be from heaven if you had to be reconciled to your father in heaven? It's it's impossible by the vocabulary. <laughs> it's like you're from heaven, you have to be reconciled, but you got stuffed down in a dualistic system, so now you get reconciled. It's that simple. Could it really be that simple? Yes, it's that simple. So, I would watch that video two or three times and pay very close attention to it. Let it sink in. Zach and I are working on some stuff. Uh, yeah, uh, the good news is uh, they're not going to have to cut off my big toe, which is great news. And I don't have an infection in the bone. However, the Lord used the whole thing as a way to message me. And boy, did I receive the message. And it was unbelievable. And I'm going to do a video on it. But guys, I am over loaded right now with stuff. I'm trying my best. Even this morning, I have another job I've got to be on and got to be doing, but I said, I've got to touch base with everybody before I even start. Okay. I love you guys in Christ. We are the love each other cult. Love your brother. Love your neighbor as yourself cult. I love you in Christ. Here's a bear hug from Johnny. Mm. All right. Hope you guys are doing well. Keep going. The end is here. The end's in sight. I know you can see it. Anyone with anyone that's been set free of it, you can see it. Okay, so just keep going. Don't be afraid. Don't fear not. Keep going. All right.